the Vionics manuscript, a centuries old puzzle. Here's what we know so far about the world's most mysterious book, something of an enigma. In 1912, bookseller Wilfred Vionich stumbled upon the manuscript and fascinated by it, he purchased it and brought it back to the United States of America. Dated back to the mid 15th century via carbon dating, it's been at the Brainick Library at the Yale University since 1969. From the looks of it, made from at least 14 full cow skins, the book has 240 pages intact with others missing. The ink used for writing and illustrations may have included vitriol, oak gall nuts, egg, fruit peels, and wine inside the book. Nearly every page of the book is embellished with illustrations of what seems like otherworldly planets, unfamiliar constellations, and people swimming through fantastical tubes and green baths. Now there are some conspiracy theories regarding this manuscript, let's look at them. Theory 1. It is written in cipher, a secret code designed to hear, write the meaning. If you want to see more videos like this by the way about cipher and secret codes, do let me know down in the comments. The second theory is, the document is a hoax, written in gibberish to make money, by a medieval con man or by Vionich himself. And the last but not the least, the theory 3 is, it's written in an actual language, but with an unknown script. Perhaps it's an attempt to make a script for a spoken language such as the Devanagari script. Who did it? Who made this book? Well, it's said that the codex belonged to Emperor Rudolf II of Germany, who purchased it believing it was written by Roger Bacon. He likely acquired the same from English astrologer John Dee. More fringe theories believe it was written by a coven of Italian witches or by Martians. Even the smartest minds fail. Countless scholars including Alan Turing and his colleagues were unable to crack the code and nor could the FBI, which reportedly studied it during the Cold War thinking it may have been communist propaganda. Eureka moments and the script deciphered? In 2019, Dr. Gerald Cheshire from the University of Bristol claimed he solved the text within just two weeks. However, University of Bristol later distanced itself from the claim and said it plans to seek further validation after concerns from fellow academics. Let's see what Mr. Cheshire found. His first findings are Written in Proto-Romance, belonging to today's Romance languages, the manuscript was compiled by Dominican nuns for the Queen of Aragon. The language was commonplace in the Mediterranean but was not written in documents as Latin was the language of royalty, church and government. And the second part of his findings are, all the letters are in lower case with no double consonants. The alphabet is a combination of known and unknown symbols with no dedicated punctuation marks but some symbol variants to indicate punctuation or phonetic accent. The next step is to translate the entire manuscript which is expected to take time. 